Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 7. It's part 72. When we last left off, things didn't go so well. Sephiroth got the Black Materia, Aerith decided to run off on her own, and Cloud faced a um, crisis of identity. But I think we've recovered from that. Our mission now is to head to the Sleeping Forest. But first, we had to go all the way up north. So in the hopes of sparing you of some... Uh, you of pulling out all your hair and going bald at my inability to navigate the world map, I decided to run ahead and navigate it beforehand. So hopefully I can remember how to do this. Um, you can't go, unfortunately you can't like, go straight up, so I found that the easiest way i found is to just go around to the right side of the continent, kind of cut through here. Is that the flight of the Tower of the Condor? <sighs> Don't like that thing. But... That's not what we're doing right now. We're going up here, and it's pretty much a straight shot, thankfully. I think as long as we just stay on the corner here, we'll eventually get there. We're trying to get to the smallest... If you see the northern continent, the smaller, the lower dot, that's the one we're going for. Um, while we're on the way, I uh, recently purchased um, Final Fantasy XIII 2 and got that and played some of that and really enjoyed it so far, actually. I haven't gotten too far into the game. I think I'm like two and a half episodes or so maybe three episodes at this point but it's pretty enjoyable I enjoyed the gameplay so far humorously enough um, you get uh, monster characters who help you because you only get two party members which I'm not a big fan of but you get a lot of monster characters you can sub in and they uh, help you out and there's one who's a healer who's Kate Sith and I ended up have ended up using him a bunch because um, my characters aren't very good at healing which is kind of funny Considering my opinions on the Kate Sith in this game, but hey, you know, things change. Final Fantasy is ever changing, for good or for bad, for better or for worse, for love or for dying, and we're not in the right place yet. I really wanted to apologize for just how bad I am at navigating the world map. It's really just something where I just can't. Next to the boat here, we want to go to this town, Bone Town. That's like the bones of a creature. That's a big creature. Seriously. This dude's chilling in there. What, what are you doing down here? Doing some aerobics? Welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? I want a sandwich, but that is not an option. What are you doing? Ah. Ah. I don't know what that sound was. I'm really bad at navigating things. Like, the worst thing is that I look up, like, in a guide how to do it, and then I completely forget what the guide said, or I can't translate it. So I've decided that for things where I have to go across the world map, I'll do that beforehand, just so I know where I'm going, and also look up any tough puzzles, just to kind of um, uh, lessen your annoyance. Okay, I want a Lunar Harp. So uh, we want a Lunar Harp to get in here, because Aerith used one to get by. How did Aerith get here anyway? Did she like teleport? Did she hit a ride? I don't know. She flew, probably. I wish I could fly. What about you, man? Could you wish you could fly? Okay, so we need to dig for the Lunar Harp. Let's start digging. Um. Eh, just Lunar Harp. I don't care. I don't know. Is there any really good treasure I can get from digging in this place? If there is, let me know in the comments and I'll completely ignore it until way past the time I can actually use the treasure. I also have a lot of trouble with this ladder here. I don't know what it is, but like, you have to be in the exact right spot. Eh. Well, anyway, okay, so we want to put our staff, and I did do this beforehand, so I apologize if you rather I did this blind, but um, we want to put our staff to the southwest corner of this tent. Order a search for 100 gil. And if we do that, we get a little green man. And he's going to trot over here. Hop! And we're going to order another search. You can order up to five people. We'll do all five. We got plenty of gill, right? I can't pause right now, but I'm sure we do. Uh, purple lady? I'm wearing purple, too. We're matching. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Purple sweatshirts are great. They should sell those at the Gap. So I'm going to put them all here... Hopefully. What's going to happen is I'm going to put them all here and then I'm going to set up a bomb and they're all going to turn to where the treasure is. 
and then I'll tell them to dig a certain spot, night will pass, and then um, we will check the treasure chest that was open at the beginning of town. Alright, so I'm going to stand in the middle of them and blow up bomb. Well, I didn't stand in the middle. Ah. Uh, looks like they're all kind of looking in the middle of them, so can I get in the middle there, dudes? And dudettes? I'd say right here is pretty good. Okay, let's hope I did it right. I am digging down. Alright, what's in our treasure chest? Yes, we got on the first try. That's what you get for looking up a walkthrough, everybody. Alright, so, um... Wait, can we talk to this person? Eh, yeah, they're hanging out of the wall there somehow. Alright, so the good news is we managed to get the Lunar Harp, so I think we're just going to go into the Sleeping Forest, which is not on the world map. I actually tried to look for it on there, it's not. It is right here. The girl's peering in here. Let's run forward! Apparently, if you come in here without the Lunar Harp, the it will just repeat endlessly. But it didn't now, and it's all green. Gosh, the Incredible Hulk is nearby. Oh, the Sleeping Forest woke up. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What is that? Aww. Oh, I think it was Materia. Oh, oh. Wait. I'll be over here. Yes. <laughs> Kajada? Awesome. That's weird, isn't it? Kujada? Eh. Shada. Uh, let's see... Did I ever use Leviathan? I can't even remember if I did. Transform! Um, we're not really using Transform at the moment, so we'll just put Kujada there. And we'll probably use Kujada in the next fight I can, if I can. Alright, we're gonna run up ahead. Into the night. Hey, plants? Those look terrific. And a red thing. Oh, I can't interact with it. Ha, cool! We get to fight a battle. Alright. I think I might try to summon Kajana here. Kajana. I'm not even pronouncing that remotely correctly. Oh, wait. Summon. He did he, he had Leviathan. Well, I don't think we've summoned Leviathan yet. Eh, I wouldn't waste it. That's a lot of magic. Oh, good job, Barrett. Uh, I guess they're blind. Lame. Oh, but we can summon Kajada. Oh. Eh, whatever. I just said that was a bunch of magic, but you know what? I want to check it out. Oh, nice! Whoa, dude, that's like all four billion elements in one. Hey, it's a bull! Dude! That just wiped the floor with them! Awesome! Alright. Oh, treasure chest! What's inside? Water ring? Cool! I'm guessing that uh, makes us immune to water. Immune. It makes us immune. Immune. Same difference. Got into another battle. Let's see what we got to fight here. Uh, we got some monstery things. I think we're gonna try Leviathan. You know, maybe I did use Leviathan. I can't honestly remember. Ooh. Dang it, I missed the last awesome. My gosh darn it. Oh, hey, big shot. Yeah, Barrett still got kind of lower level uh, limits. I haven't used him a huge amount. A pretty good amount. Alright, cool. Take out one. Take out another. Take out third one. But unfortunately, can't take out the fourth one because I'm not that good yet. But one day I'll get all four of them gas. Yes. I'll be like, hey, that's cool. And I'll completely forget I'd said that I'd one day get that. One day. Oh, sweet Chocomob level up. Dazers? Huh? Uh, let's see. 
Oh, paralyzes one opponent. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll head this way. I guess. I guess. You know. Maybe. Oh, that's cool. I like the perspective shifts there. Um. Oh, I. I did not realize we were running forward still. I don't know what that thing is, but it's kind of. Eh. Oh, that's kind of cute looking. It's set to miniaturize Tifa there. That's not cool. <laughs> no, she does one damage. <laughs> Only one damage. Ah, oh, crud, Barret. I guess I'll use Ice. Actually, I think Barret absorbs MP whenever he uses Ice. I have that ability now. Yeah, he absorbs one MP. One MP. Oh, crud, he's not going to eat. He just ate Tifa! What the? Huh? That wasn't expected. Wait, she's still in my party, right? Right? Okay. It's one of those status ailment thingies that goes away at the end of the battle. Ah, oh, cool. We're out of potions, that's very cool. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving. Oh, hey, are we on the world map? Basically are. That's kind of weird. Didn't expect that, actually. Mass Effect music? Okay. Um, I guess we gotta go stop Saren. That's kind of odd. Really, this does sound like something out of Mass Effect. Man, Final Fantasy VII totally ripped off Mass Effect's music. <laughs> it's not like Mass Effect came out ten years after Final Fantasy VII. Uh-huh. Uh. Um... Ah, oh, well, the string stuff sounds different. Oh, cool, save point. Super. Hmm, I wonder what's up the stairs... Or actually, what's... Oh. I do like this music, though. Cool, magic source. Very nice feel to it. And now, where are we? Oh, hey, crystal. A crystal dream I'll follow you Oh, is it 32? has some weird music. Yeah, not that way. Approaching the center. And this does absolutely nothing for us. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. If I'm right, though, we can't actually run to any battles here, which is interesting. Hmm. Hey, treasure chest over here. Aurora. Aurora. Gosh, can I even pronounce that word? Other stuff. Eh, it's not a key item. Oh well. I'm not sure if these doors lead anywhere. See, there's nothing. There, there were alternate ways we could go, I'm pretty sure, back there, so we'll head that way. If I'm right, I think I'm getting really close to the end of disc one here. Should be interesting. I was thinking of maybe taking a bit of a break when I got to the end of disc one, like a week or two, but <laughs> recently I haven't been really uploading that consistently, so yeah, we'll head this way. 
be like, I'll be taking a break after not posting anything for like five days or whatever. Gotta run all the way to the light. Maybe it's symbolic or something. So cloud is tiny little blocks in the distance. Oh, hey. I know this room. Fish? I love fish. Especially in a good gravy. Nah, you don't eat fish gravy with fish. You don't eat gravy with fish. You don't eat fish with gravy? You've got a materia, I believe. Comet. It'll help us summer summon comet. Tastes like Listerine. And what's down here? And now we're running away from the light. This will head to the right then. It's funny in mazes I like to stick to the right and just go right, but whenever I do mazes in games, it doesn't seem to work very well. Like Passage of the Hall of the Moon. Which is an RPG Maker VX game that I did a Let's Play of, in case you didn't know that. Self-advertisement is lovely. What's in here, I wonder? Oh! 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 Wait, dude. Guys, I... Hey! Hey! There's a bed. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I guess we will take a break here? But uh, I think we'll do that next time. Actually, hold on. Is that interior? Enemy skill. Oh, we got another enemy, enemy skill. I guess we'll sell this one. Unless, I don't know. Is there a good... Is there an advantage to having multiple enemy skill materials? Oh, we also got elixir. That's useful. So I think next time we're going to take a nap. And when we wake up, uh, do stuff. That'll be fun. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And God bless.